my name is Katie or KB Does Art and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pretty simple bucket like this one. So first up what you want to do is we're just going to be using a cylinder um, and I don't think I'm going to use a reference so we're just going to like eyeball it. Let's go ahead and move it to about the uh, floor and then we're just going to take these vertices and press W and just bring them on up and let's also scale them up maybe about there we'll scale these guys up too and I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter there we go that looks like a good size next up I'm gonna make those rings for the metal so hold shift hold right click and grab your multi-cut tool and then I'm just gonna be making two lines roughly the same size and so let's go to face mode hold tab click one and then double click the next to select the whole ring you can do Control e to extrude and then up the thickness on it all right let's go ahead and grab these faces up top and extrude and offset them in maybe about there and then extrude once more and drop that thickness down let's see about there is good for the thickness and then offset it in so that we can't see any of the faces all right so we've got the basic shape of a bucket pretty quick now we can just add all the fun little details on so first up what I would do is probably take maybe those two faces and extrude and just up that thickness to be those fun sides like that and then as for the wire I'm gonna make it using a cylinder which you can bring on up here uh, let's go to our channel box and we'll rotate it 90 degrees on I guess the x-axis yeah there we go uh, we can also scale this guy down make him a bit like thinner and longer maybe about there all right and then as for that portion coming through here I'm gonna use a torus which you can also rotate 90 degrees on the let's see oh yeah 90 degrees on the Z axis this time go to attribute editor go to poly torus 1 and then make your radius like 7 and then we'll scale it down still seems a little small we'll shoot for like nine maybe all right actually I kind of like that size that looks good but you can also make the radius just a little bit smaller that might be too small I think 0.5 is okay um, if you click three you can see how it is going to be shaping out but for this one just gonna make it long and then taller I'm also going to go into face mode and we're gonna delete these bottom half of faces and then go to edge mode double click this edge and do mesh fill hole and do the same thing on this side double click that edge mesh fill hole and then to move these around I'm going to take these faces move them on down let's angle it and click W and move it okay there we go and you can do the same thing to this side All right, and that's pretty even. Um, if you want, you can scale that guy just a little bit taller, angle them out a little bit more. There 
and I'm just going to make it a little bit more even. And then this guy just goes about the top and covers it like that, which you can make it a bit more centered. All right, so now really all we need to do is just bevel some edges. So I'd bevel these edges, grab both, control B to bevel, and add two segments, make them pretty small. And then as for our pail here, we're gonna need to take this edge, these edges, just hold shift and just double click on all these guys to grab them. We need the inside edge, all of these 90 degree edges we wanna bevel, and all of these guys. Control B and add two segments. And then you can click three to see how it is smoothing out and see if you need to edit or change anything. I'm gonna bring this guy down just a little bit. All right, so that is about it for our bucket. Um, now we can just add some like really simple texture on it. Um, I would assign like a metal texture to this one. So just grab a new material, do AI standard surface, and then uh, actually we just color it. So make it like a gray, up the weight, and then up the metalness. And then we can also make these faces uh, that same metal texture. So for this, just hold shift and click one and double click the next to grab that. And same thing on this side. Hold shift, double click, or click one, double click the next. Click one, double click. All right, assign that same material. So it should be an existing, just AI standard surface one. And then, the rest of the bucket is like a wood texture. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it the wood texture. I'm kind of tempted to just make it like a yellow bucket or a silver bucket. Just make it a little bit more unique than just your typical like wood bucket. Let's see which one we prefer. All right, got all those guys. Assign a new material, AI, AI standard surface. And I guess like, let's just make it like a brown at first and then we'll see if we like it. Up that roughness. Let's texture the handle the exact same. And then let's click Arnold, Sky Dome Light. Let's save our scene since that is super important. Save it before you render out anything. <laughs> Let's go to poly modeling and click our plane. And we'll just set it on the plane. I always assign a new material to it and give it the AI standard surface, but then change it to the checker texture because I kind of like it. All right. So some things I'd probably change. I think the color of the metal might just be a little too maybe like light make it a little bit darker i'm also going to bring that metalness down just up that roughness a little bit and honestly i don't mind the brown texture i'd probably just up the um the roughness a little bit oh i also forgot those faces <laughs> Okay, just assign, assign the existing material to that. I also think I'm going to make it a little bit more like yellowy. There we go. All right, but yeah, that's like a pretty easy, quick bucket if you just need one for your scene. So 
Um, there you go. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, you can sign up for my newsletter to see what tutorials I'm coming out with every month. You can also check out my virtual tip jar if you're looking to support me in a different way. Uh, you can also follow me on TikTok where I make uh, just like some fun um, videos answering questions and things like that. So yeah, I will see you guys for our next tutorial. Bye guys. Thank you.